the MixPre 3 and 6.2 can be used as a USB-C iPad OS audio interface. For full connection and compatibility details, please see the link chart. Let's set up Zoom with the MixPre 6.2, microphone, headphones, and a 6th generation iPad mini. We will be using our USB-C iPad mini to power the MixPre. Alternatively, we can power the MixPre separately with its own power supply. Connect the USB-C cable to the iPad mini and the MixPre. Power the MixPre on. Tap the menu icon, then system settings, and confirm that our MixPre is set to advanced mode and USB-C audio. Let's configure our MixPre to function correctly as an iPad OS audio interface. Connect your microphone to the MixPre. We will be using channel 1 as our microphone input. Press the channel fader knob to bring up the channel settings menu. Check that the channel setting input is set to mic. Speak into your microphone and adjust the gain to a healthy level. For clearer audio in our Zoom meeting, we can use Noise Assist. It's great for video conferencing as it reduces background noises like traffic and HVAC systems. Tap the Noise Assist box to activate the plugin on channel 1. Adjust the dB level accordingly. We will be using channels 3 and 4 to monitor our Zoom audio with our headphones. Let's configure them properly. Press channel 3's fader knob. Go to input and set it to USB 1. Then adjust the gain to 0 dB. We can link channel knobs 3 and 4 in stereo for this scenario. Tap linking, then 3 and 4. Our channels are now linked. For this example, we're using a pair of headphones and we'll need to configure a headphone preset to monitor our audio properly. Tap the home icon, menu, and then the headphone icon to access headphone preset settings. Navigate to edit presets. We will use preset one. All outputs will be set to post fader. Set our microphone on channel one to left and right. For monitoring our iPad, set channel 3 to left and 4 to right. The last step is simple. We need to send our microphone signal to the iPad on channel 1. Go to Menu, Outputs, USB 1. We will select Prefader for channel 1 to route the microphone signal to the iPad. If you want to monitor your microphone on channel 1, you can adjust it by using the fader knob. We can play any audio on the iPad to check for signal. Let's visit the Sound Devices YouTube page. This is Elizabeth from Sound Devices, and today I'm here with Paul Isaacs, Hi our there. Director of Product Design. Use channel knobs 3 and 4 to balance and adjust the iPad stereo mix, and the headphone knob to attenuate the headphone's output. When the iPad and MixPre are set up correctly, the iPad will automatically use inputs 1 and 2 for audio recording, and outputs 1 and 2. Let's open Zoom. Tap the Zoom app icon. We don't want Zoom's audio processing to interfere with Noise Assist. Tap Settings, Meetings, then under Audio, make sure Use Original Audio is turned on. Let's tap New Meeting with the video option on. Zoom will now be sending and receiving audio from our MixPre. Now we have ideal Zoom audio quality, guaranteed to make all the other participants jealous. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.